heroes. It's an old-fashioned notion. Marvel has kind of set a standard where you, look, a lot of times you make movies and you don't know how it's going to turn out. With Marvel, we become a little too accustomed to knowing it's going to be good. It's just a matter of how good. We've done a big, big loop of the world. I started, well, left Australia, came here, went to London, then went across to Asia, then went back to Australia quickly, and then you know, here we are. So, and this is, this is it, this is the, the wrap-up. This is overwhelming, because the truth is, every time I'm at a premiere, up to this point, I've had three other movies in my head knowing where we were heading, that they were all chapters in the overall story that we were eventually going to bring to a conclusion. Tonight, we bring it to a conclusion. Tonight, I feel like I've actually finished the big, long, giant story that we started nearly 12 years ago with the first Iron Man film. So it's, it's, it's emotional, it's overwhelming, um, and as always at these things, I just want people to see the movie. I can't wait for them to finally see the ending. 10 years, 22 movies, and uh, it feels like an enormous amount of work that's culminated to this final moment, this end game, and it feels like the beginning of something and the end of something else. And, you know, it's a, uh, it's a, it's an interesting transitional time. And, you know, I, I, I really, it's funny, even talking to the Russos about this, you know, they always say they're like, we needed to kind of bring this to a close. We needed this chapter to close. We needed to give people a cathartic experience. And I'm hoping that's what we get tonight. I think it will be, but. I mean, it's great. You know, it's 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 hard running uh, answering questions for the last three weeks that you can't answer. So now I think we're going to be able to talk about it as Ant said, and uh, we're excited. Yeah, they've always been great. That's the best thing about Marvel. They have uh, this kind of baked in the cake fan base because of the amazing work that came before these films. So there's, I mean, it's a double-edged sword. You you have this wonderful fan base, but you also have the pressure to make sure you satisfy the people who's. Uh, taste is from the source material, so you can't deviate too much, and 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 they deserve that allegiance. I think none of us have seen it either, so I think we have the same enthusiasm and excitement as the fans do to see it. And uh, you know, a lot of us have been working on this for what close to 10 years now, and 22, 23 films or something. And so, yeah, it's pretty special. And and you know, once in a career, once in a lifetime opportunity, and just trying to, you know, soak up every moment, enjoy it. And, and as I said, very excited to see the film because. I didn't even read the script, let alone see the film. So it's impossible for us to not have a sense of like excitement and nervousness and pride and gratitude. These movies exist uh, because of a lot of people. Jack Kirby, Stan Lee, right? The, the, this movie doesn't exist without them. They created everything. The writers, the 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 artists who have worked over the years interpreting and reinterpreting these amazing characters. The directors, not just Joe Russo and Anthony Russo, who have done four more film, more MCU films than anybody else, including Infinity War, now Endgame, but all of the filmmakers that, that helped add tiles into this mosaic. But out of all those, it's the fans. Because if the fans hadn't come to see the movies, if the fans haven't rallied behind a interconnected, multi-picture overall arc, then we wouldn't have been able to do it. So on this press tour, really seeing the fans and thanking the fans, and outside today, hundreds of them, and they're saying thank you to all of us, and the truth is, thank them, because this movie wouldn't exist in the way that it exists without them coming with us film after film after film and growing and building into, into I think, the biggest and best fan base on the face of the earth. It's a family, yeah. It's a family through and through. <laughs> Everybody was really nice, I don't know. I had a really good time. Uh, excited to see what the future holds, and uh, I have no idea what will happen next, but I'm excited to find out tonight when I watch the movie for the first time. Uh, yeah, no, exactly. It's, we've come so far, it's hard to actually put a name, a specific name to it, but it's just, for Joe and I, it's just like, again, you know, when we make these movies, we have to use ourselves as the barometer for, for how they're playing and, and what we feel, feel about them, what we think about them, to finally to be at the moment where we can actually, like, turn it over to an audience and let them tell us what the movie is, that's the most exciting moment for a filmmaker. So really, I think we're just looking forward to the audiences telling us what the movie is for them. I met another, I met a fan the other day who uh, was 
I would met through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Bridget, and she was like, I started watching these movies when I was six and now I'm 15. And she was like this beautiful young woman. She's like, I grew up with you playing this character and it was so meaningful for her, the character's journey and it reflected her own journey of self-discovery. And you know, that's what you get with this kind of franchise. It's really, is you know meaningful for people and it's these characters are reflective of the audience's own experience of self-discovery and that's what that's just awesome what it really is is a thing of love and respect and support for each other and also genuinely like we're fans i mean the reason this has been such a great adventure and speaking of kids and family so many of us have all started families since even the first Iron Man, I mean, we got our youngsters and everyone's here and, uh, you know, now they just got to watch all the movies. You know, we took a big swing in this one and it was kind of left everything on the table and, and uh, we all wanted to do something unique and something different and something fresh and that was my certainly goal, you know, personally and, and, and I think we're all pretty proud of, of what we've done. And, excited to be able to see it, obviously. Yes, we are bringing the end game. In many respects, this represents the end of a chapter in the canon that is Marvel. Not the end of the book, but the end of a chapter. And I think one of the most exciting, certainly one of the most successful in the history of the motion picture business. So it's quite an exciting event. Whatever it takes.